Hi, Leo, it's Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let us see what the universe has for you, Leo. My money is just falling down. You got the star and the sun. Hanged man, Pisces, Aquarius, and Leo. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are in all honesty, I'm getting it's uh you are working towards something and wanting something, and I feel like whatever this is that you want. It is breaking you down. It's like, listen, Alex, I don't know how much long I'm going to keep this up. Because this is hard, is what I'm getting. But, um, whatever pushback that you are experiencing, Leo, um, feels like a part of the process. This almost even feels like, um, pressure like somebody is just has their foot on your neck this could be somebody kind of reminding you over and over how they hurt how you hurt them or what you need to do you said you would do this to make this right oh boy angels just said to me nagging right i feel like somebody is up your butt and in your ear when it comes to making them happy oh you said you would change oh mm -mm. we don't do this energy angels yeah, boy, Queen of Swords, ain't nobody need you to bring your ass out here. Yeah. This, this to me, it feels like a promise. Whether you made a promise to somebody or somebody made a promise to you, it's almost like somebody is expecting you to keep your word. But for you, it's like, yo, it's going to take some time. Like, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know what I mean? And that's okay, but I do kind of feel like you are putting a beautiful foot forward, but somebody's just not happy. There is a lot of drama, controversy, arguments, head bumping, back and forth. It feels like just somebody's not satisfied. But I like that Queen of Swords where she is, even though she did bring her ass out in your reading, Leo. Because I do feel like that's you guys setting a boundary. Like, yo, just because yeah, I did whatever or whatever happened between you and I, and I know that hurt you. I know that caught you off guard. I know that surprised you. But listen, you got to give me a chance to make this shit up to you. You can't be in my ear every time I walk through this damn door talking about, oh, you didn't do this again. Mm. <laughs> like That was me, Leo, nipping it in the butt, angelically or energetically, right? Because this, the, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of, excuse me, Knight of um, Swords and the Ten of Swords above the Queen of Swords just kind of feels like somebody is doing a lot of that. You know what I mean? Just bop it a bop, yappity yap. And not only that, but it's like, yo, you're going to give me a chance to make this up to you or we're not going to be successful or this is going to end or I'm going to have to walk away. Like, you got to create room for me to get us back on track. You know what I mean? And not only that, but yeah, I do kind of feel like you set a boundary, Leo. You set a boundary or somebody set a boundary with you. And saying, listen, we both want this to work. Like, to me, this is the reasonability card. This is the card where it's like you have that kumbaya, come to Jesus moment where it's like, yo, listen. Sorry about that. Kick my tripod. But you have this come to Jesus moment where it's like, yo, the relationship is not going to freaking just go back to normal on its own it takes two people who want to 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 you know put this thing back together i want you i want to be happy with you i love you but i don't know how to do this by myself i need your help i need your support that is somebody's story that i heard may not be everybody's story but it's one or two of your stories um so somebody really needs to have to be they have to be patient and, you know, kind of let you do things 
based on who you are, based on your, your wanting to resolve this and heal, heal them from this situation. Not, not that you need to heal them, but do your part in, in helping them heal. Right. So it's almost like, listen, you gotta, you gotta be easy. You're going to have to give me time. This is not going to happen overnight. If, if you truly want me <coughs> and want me like you say you do, you got to cut all of that down. Not only that, but I do kind of feel like this person's argument is they feel like you're not doing enough to show them you love them. Could also be vice versa as well, right? They're not doing enough or you're not doing enough, Leo, to show them that you're sorry, you want this to work. Um, but I feel like if they don't change your attitude, you're going to have to walk away. And it's crazy. That's the craziest shit in the world to me, right? That something could have happened, might have been your fault, right? They uh, They forgave you. They said, hey, we'll try to keep it going. And in the process of rebuilding, you have to walk away. <clears throat> Angels just said to me, because it's almost like you're turning a liar out of them. As in, yo, you said you wanted this, but your actions show, show differently. But you sitting here getting on me because you felt like I lied to you or I deceived you. And at the end of the day, you might have. But... In your process of, again, resurrecting that or, or fixing it, they got their foot on all ten toes on your neck, Leo. Sorry. Freaking cards fell down. And I ain't even using these cards, really. All right, so... Ten of Swords and a Queen of Swords is like, let me help pull. Let me let me make this right. You know what I mean? Let me make this right. I know I'm the one, as an example, who knocked us off track, knocked the love out of this scenario, but I can't fight you to try to make this right. Or you can't block me or stand in my way as I'm in the process of making this right. This is crazy because I'm hearing um, this person could be going through PMS or having some sort of hormonal imbalance. Um, I wouldn't say substance abuse, but it's possible, right? With that hanging man, hanging man, right? It could be something that it could be a best friend, right? It just kind of feels like some sort of outside substance, best friend, alcohol, you know, romantic comedies, these videos that is keeping your person out of alignment. And it's almost like they have to be in alignment in order for you to, you know, reverse your mistake or correct your mistake. If not, they just going to continuously look at you like you ain't doing nothing to repair the deceit. And, and that you're still being deceiving, by the way. So yeah, this person has to get out of your way, Leo, in order for you to make this right. Cards back down on the floor. Maybe I should just do the readings from the floor. Recovery. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to, to recover from this, from whatever happened, but they ain't giving you that much room and space. It's up to you. I feel like it's up to them. Whomever is hurt in this, it's up to them whether they want to be unhurt and really, really work this out. Perfect timing. Yeah, maybe it's a matter of time before they actually just kind of get themselves back together. You're ready. They're not. You're ready to forgive and move on or you're ready to repair and move on, but they ain't. I can tell you that right now. Because they're still stuck in the deceit, by the way. Whatever that was, they're still stuck in this, the deceit. You have Aquarius, Sagittarius. You got Libra here. For me as a reader, that is Scorpio. This is Pisces. That's Gemini. There's Leo. You, Leo. And there's Pisces there. So, yeah, you got that watery 
that watery influence here that's um not necessarily seeing this situation seeing your efforts seeing you trying to rectify this situation luck is on your side i don't need luck alex i need jesus <laughs> don't let pride get in your way that's your person even though that's a leo card your commitment is being tested yes it is it's like are you gonna have to walk away from this look at the bigger picture i don't think that's you it, to me this is the person who got hurt and who's who's uh, creating all this drama and controversy i feel like those cards were for that person they have to look at the bigger picture as in yes this was you know a, a tragedy in our relationship but if you're willing to make it right and you know then i accept you wanting to make it right but i also say i also understand that i have a stake in this as well as in i have to create a passageway for both of us and not allow you know my hurt my you know my um reaction to all of this i have to I have a part in this and making sure i don't let that block the passageway to our future and here's your future looking at you right here I feel like you guys both want to be together or you want to be together. You want to get back to where you were. You want to be happy again, right? But it's just all this other stuff around you that's preventing that, at least for right now. All right, lovely Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details, specifically the Calendly link, is in the About section of my channel. I love you, Leo. Bye.